Mary's birth prepared for the mystery of redemption. God preserved Mary by his redeeming power from every stain of sin by virtue of Jesus' redemptive deeds on the cross. The birth of Mary brings great joy and hope to the world, for from her, Jesus, our Savior, and our only hope was born. Mary was the disciple of disciples, the first disciple to evangelize, and she lived by faith. She is example for all of us. She pondered on the mystery of God's love in her heart and teaches us to do the same. She pondered God's great love, the power of incarnation, the power of God's love, the power of Jesus' death on the cross to redeem us. All of us are called to do the same to ponder on God's great love for us. Our Blessed Mother teaches us to trust the power and the unfailing presence of the Holy Spirit. She teaches us to surrender our willpower unto God and believe that the unshakable promises of the Lord will be fulfilled even when the situation looks impossible. She teaches us that faith makes all things possible. When she said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your will. Through her grace, through her mother intercession, may we see God's ways, be ready to listen to God, and trust completely in his plan for our lives. As we celebrate the feast of the birth of Mary, we ask for her grace in our striving for peace, our striving for justice, and welcoming her motherly blessing through love and wisdom in our nation and the world at large. At the foot of the cross, Jesus watched. At the foot of the cross, Mary watched her son dying. She did not run away. She stayed with her son. Simeon prophesied to Mary, you, yourself, a sword will pierce. She became source of comfort and healing for all. May the health of the sick and the comforter of the afflicted continue to bring healing and peace to all. From the cross, the dying Christ consoled those he came to redeem when he said, Behold, your mother, our blessed Virgin Mary, then is not only the mother of Jesus, but she is also our mother. Truly, Jesus did not leave us as orphans. He entrusted us to his own mother. Behold, your mother. May she pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen.